Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. And this is for my Aries. So if you're an Aries sun, moon, or rising, something in this is for you. And since it's the last week of the year, I want to focus these readings on what you can expect next year. I actually forgot I did write down a few things, so I didn't forget. Okay, so first we're going to ask what blessings do you have in store for 2024? Let's do four of cards. Okay, you have the Page of Swords, the Five of Pentacles in Reverse, the Six of Swords in Reverse, and the King of Swords in Reverse. So let's clarify those and then I'll get into what they mean. Lots of swords though. Very much and I said what I said type moment. <laughs> so the Page of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords again. But what's interesting to me is that even though these are the same card, like the different decks show them slightly different. This one is looking more forward. And so it's talking about present tense. Present tense. And you see he's in this whole suit of armor. They're letting you know that you will be protected in 2024. So things may not end up going as smooth as you hope or as smooth as you were guessing but you'll definitely be protected and then here they're looking over to the left and there's also birds up here more so to the left kind of in the distance but it's showing that you'll also be getting a lot of information so most of your protection will come from the fact that knowledge is power in 2024 so it'll be very important for you to be intentional and self-aware, like really be paying attention to things. Also, I believe the when they're facing to the left is looking towards the future and then the right is looking towards the past. So this is very future oriented. So you'll be wrapping or having wrapped up a lot of things from 2024. You have the five of pentacles in reverse clarified by the nine of cups. So you're probably wondering like, okay, you're saying I'm going to be protected. Was it that I'm in danger or is it that nothing's going to happen? This is letting you know that despite anything that will happen, your money will be good. Your home will be good. The relationships you've been building and cultivating will be good. Like those type of things will be just fine. And so it makes sense why you have more swords here than anything else. Like the issues in 2024 will be more so in the unseen in the spiritual realm and i think that's gonna be your title so the 3d world will be great but the spirit world is still going to be on 10 pretty much the same tune as it was this year Six of Swords in Reverse, clarified by the Six of Wands in Reverse, is just affirming that. You, there's going to be things that you went through this year that will continue next year. But they will not be as intense and you'll be more equipped to handle them. Because it's like you've already had all the practice <laughs> from this year. So even though it sucks, like ideally all the hard stuff would be over and it'll be smooth sailing. That's just not going to be the case for you. But they're letting you know that even though these difficult things will be present, they won't be as difficult as they were before. So hopefully you can find some comfort in that. King of Swords in Reverse is clarified by the King of Swords in Reverse again. And this is letting us know that it's just going to be very important again for you to keep your wits about you. So if you're doing anything that clouds your mind, being around certain people, overindulging in vices like smoking or drinking, things that keep you out of your right mind... It will really behoove you to completely cut those things out. Because you never know when stuff is going to pop off. And things always fare better if you get out ahead of them. More like address them as soon as you know about them. 
So the sooner you realize things, the better. And you realize the sooner if your mind is clear. Let's get a one word theme for the year overall. For Aries, please spirit. Enhance. Everything that happens in 2028 is, or I'm sorry, 2024 <laughs> is going to be meant to enhance you. I said 28 because I was thinking about how it's an eight year. But it's overall a year of abundance for everybody. For you, a lot of those enhancements will be more so mental and spiritual. Like you'll be getting a lot of upgrades, a lot of downloads. Your rank may change in the spiritual world. And it may not have a huge bearing on your physical life, your 3D life. But you will and the people closest to you will notice these differences. Things will be enhanced for you. If you were to make yourself a little mojo bag, what crystals should you put in it? The bags are best made with both herbs and crystals. So if you want to know what herbs would be good for you, you'll want to book a reading. But I'm going to let you know some crystals that will really help for you to just carry around throughout the year. You got Lapis Lazuli. I said I was going to learn how to actually pronounce that right, but I didn't. My bad, I lied. Onyx and Blue Calcite. I didn't lie because my intentions, like, I thought I was going to. But this Lapis, this is um, going to be great for serenity, but also prophetic dreams. So when it comes to what you need to do in the spiritual world and what exactly is going on, things like that, you're going to get a lot of information through your dreams. And sleeping with this under your pillow will help you not only remember your dreams, but get the interpretation of it correct. So this is going to be really important for you. Onyx is going to help both keep you protected and help you see into the future. It's also great with um, helping you with self-discipline. So any habits that you're wanting to get rid of, um, kind of things like that, carrying this around will help with that as well. And then this blue calcite. <clears throat> The strong memory part is what's sticking out to me the most. It is going to help you communicate better and kind of just relax and chill throughout the stress. But something about this strong memory, it's like things that you learned throughout your life that didn't have proper context or they just weren't important to you at the time. A lot of those will be helpful in situations that are yet to come. So it's like this is going to help you remember what those things were. So these three crystals, onyx, lapis, and blue calcite will be great for you to carry around. And as an Aries, I'm like, okay, duly noted, and I do have all three of these already. So now something from your ancestors. What do they got to say about your next year? You have Sisterhood of the Rose and Lemuria. And I'm feeling like I should actually read these for some reason. So let me grab that little booklet. This worked out because usually I just throw on a shirt real quick and I don't have any pants on. So I can't get up if I do forget something. But I have on a real outfit today, y'all. <laughs> Okay, Sisterhood of the Rose. One moment, please. Is this the right book? Yeah. Seventy-eight. Okay, so this counts if you're a brother too. I always have to throw that out there. But it says the Sisterhood of the Rose is a lineage of priestesses and mystics who devoted their lives to serving humanity and seeding light consciousness all over the earth. A cross section of ancient lineages, it's the path of devotion and beauty. Walking this path means being devoted to seeing and creating beauty wherever you go. So that's the part that they really want to stick out to. So things are going to be difficult, but you have the power to let things be beautiful. I'm hearing that Chris Brown song in my head where he's just like, let it be beautiful, like your perception is going to matter most and so that's also why it was a lot of swords in the tarot because that's all about your mental keeping your head on straight it's just going to be so important everything that happened before now was meant to strengthen your mind because you're not in any physical danger but 
the mental stuff will really get to you. So having a strong mind, devoting yourself to things that do strengthen your mind. It's going to be extremely important. This Lemuria says, Lemuria or Moon is one of Earth's lost lands where heaven really was a place on Earth. A time before we were kicked out of the Garden of Eden. In Lemuria, life worked in harmony. All beings were seen as equal and we were deeply reverent to Mother Earth. We knew that the mosquito was no worse than us and the sun no better. Perhaps you too believe that heaven really can't be a place on earth. Perhaps you are part of the transition team who at a soul level are devoted to creating this kind of harmony on the planet now. Thank you for wanting to do this work. It's easy to get overwhelmed by the state of affairs on the planet right now, but you're being encouraged to keep holding a clear vision of the future. It's closer than you think. You may be guided to hold the frequency of Lemuria in your own community, family, workplace, or within yourself. No, it's possible, and while at times it may feel like you're alone, you're not. There are hundreds of thousands of people who hold the codes of this ancient lost land, and even Lemuria crystals that hold the codes of remembering that you are beginning to rise all over the planet. Keep doing what you're doing, and remember, the only way to heal the world is to heal yourself first. Okay. So a lot of this mental stuff too is going to be, oh, I got goosebumps. It's going to be about you going within and truly creating that safe place inside of your own mind, strengthening your resolve. Like, I know that I am protected. Like the protection card was the very first one out for you. I know that I'm protected. I know that I'm safe. I know that my spirit team will not let me fail. I know I'm doing the right thing. So there's no reason for me to fail or have a punishment, you know, kind of just confirming that stuff and as people see that your resolve is strengthened they'll be inspired to do the same like dang that's really working for them let me see if that'll work for me too and that's how you change the world so being of service will be a huge importance for you over this next year let's get something from your spirit guides let me take a sip of this drink too Fun fact about me, if you didn't already know this, but I started drinking Dr. Pepper in my grandpa's honor after he died. It was like just one of the things. He loved him so much and it was a way to be close to him and I'm super addicted to him. All 23 flavors inside. <laughs> but that's the only soda I drink and it's just because of my grandpa. All right, your ancestor, or I'm sorry, your spirit guys. You got standing your power in enlightenment. So the standing your power is about bringing positive change so it's piggybacking off of what your ancestors were saying like no matter but the standing your power part is about no matter how you feel if you're having a bad day or a really hard time mentally it's going to help you and help other people people <laughs> help you and help other people if you still continue to be of service it's going to boost your own energy and keep your own light shining and it'll still help spread to other people and when you see the positive effects from how you've assisted them that'll help to boost you too so that's going to be important and this enlightenment is just about literally you being the light again like your journey is not for nothing you have i want to say star but it's stardust but it's like what the fuck is stardust i don't know they want me to say that you have stardust I don't know, maybe you're a starseed indigo child. I actually don't know if that shit's real or not, or if it's legit, but just something about you is very special. Something about you is very special, and your light is important, and it's vital that you spread that light, friend. We're going to end this with just what are three other things you should be doing right now, or three other things you can do to improve your life, your year. I don't know. Refine your attention, raise your vibration, and correct your mistakes. These definitely make sense. This refine your attention and raise your vibration is telling you not to focus on the negative stuff or the spiritual warfare going on. Accept that it's happening. Know you're protected. And so the only thing for you to do is regulate your own emotions for real and continue to walk in your purpose. Everything else will be taken care of. As long as you're obedient, everything else will be taken care of. So refine your attention to the things that make you happy and bring you joy. And this correct your mistakes is kind of saying the same thing, just reiterating like there's what's in the past is in the past. You don't necessarily have to go back and correct those mistakes, but correct the habits that made you make the mistakes. So one of those habits was that you tended to lean 
more into negative thinking as an attempt to protect yourself. But instead, now you want to focus on the positive so that you bring about more positive because you understand the law of attraction. So that's what I have for you guys today. And that's what you can expect for 2024. If you see this and you would like a reading specifically for you, like with more details about your year, I'm doing birthday readings based on 2024 so just what do you need to know in 2024 i'll pull one card for each month specifically for you and the price on that is 25.25 you can cash out me my cash app will be in the description box and with that i bid you all adieu oh i can't remember if i said like comment share subscribe but do that all right bye <laughs>